Welcome to 411carline.com. You can find us at 411carline.com. There's more information, pricing, photos, and a free Carfax available at 411carline.com. 952-540-9000 is our phone number. Give us a call to ask any questions or to set up an appointment. We are by appointment only, so please do call in advance. We appreciate that. All of our vehicles go to third-party shops for inspection. Safety mechanical and road test inspections are performed. We do whatever safety mechanical and maintenance repairs the shop recommends. You're welcome to have an inspector prior to buying it as well. Just ask us about our policy on that. Lastly, aftermarket warranties are available on all vehicles, no matter the year, make, model, or miles. Just ask us about those or it'll be stapled to Carfax when you come in. We have this 2016 Chevy Colorado. It's a Z71 package. I'm gonna double check the year, make sure I was correct on that. Yes, it is a 16. For some reason I was thinking 17. We have a couple 17 Hondas, so. Um, it's a Z71 package. Has a wheel and tire package and a two inch leveling kit. Looks really nice. Great color in my opinion. We'll start in the front here. Front bumper's in pretty good shape. There's a couple little nicks, scratches. You can see a little marred mark in the plastic there. Headlights are pretty clear on this one. Grill's in nice shape. It's got the black bow ties. Hood's in nice shape on this one. These wheels are in excellent condition. We just put brand new um, Patagonias on it, Milestar Patagonias on it. So they're a nice uh, non-aggressive all-terrain. It gives it a nice look, but also a nice ride and they handle really well in the snow, so. Truck's pretty clean as far as vents, things, scratches. It has a few here and there, but it's nothing uh, too major. It has 3M film on the uh, box sides here. Rockers are clean. I'll show you that in a bit here, so. Black Rhino wheels. Really nice looking truck. It's a local trade-in. It's got 21 service records on the Carfax. Pretty well serviced, so. Spray-in bed liner. Rhino liner, super nice. Best place to look for your rust on pickup trucks, right in the tailgate area here. This box side looks pretty nice. That's just a little reflection, that's not a scratch. It's actually really nice. All right, let me show you the underside here. You can see the rockers are nice and clean on this one. Frame actually looks like it's in really good shape too. Interior, non-smoker vehicle, no pets. It's in great condition for the miles and the year. This looks like an off tint of blue, but it's actually gray. So I don't know why our lighting's making that look just did that to an Audi I was taking pictures of. So dash is in nice shape, seats are in nice shape. Door panels are in nice shape. It's got these cool carbon looking inserts. Door bottoms of course are in good shape on this one. Back seat looks pretty awesome. It's got a slider window, also has rear defrost. These seats do, you just pop this little button here. I can't do it one-handed, unfortunately, but pop this button, the seat does flip up. There's like kind of a little compartment under there, you can see. Show you under the back side here. Spares down there. Again, looks pretty decent for being in Minnesota and Wisconsin its whole life. Of course, you're gonna get a little bit of surface on the suspension and stuff, but Overall, the frame is in great shape. Rockers are nice. Oops. 
That door panel's in nice shape. Again, seat's in nice shape. This door panel's in nice shape. Seat's in pretty good shape. Has a little side bolster where I gotta get my interior guy to take care of that. It's pretty common on these. They use a less than ideal material on the side and then sitting down on the seat makes it compress and eventually crack. So hop in here, I'll start it up. This one has one set of keys. Um, does have factory remote start as well. as possible uh 81 328 for miles no lights on the dash been serviced this one went to smith nielsen and hopkins seatbelt lights on of course because i'm not wearing it uh, it's got this nice big touchscreen audio system or mmi system that's what they call them on european cars so that's what i'll call it um it does have a backup camera as well nice big clear screen it's a little funky on my phone because that's how it picks up screens, um, radio, it's got XM satellite radio, obviously AM, FM. You can see it's got Pandora, Bluetooth, OnStar. You can connect a USB device and project it onto there, so. Pretty sweet. Uh, this one does have automatic climate control, so you can control, you can just set it to 75 and click auto and it'll find its uh, temperature that way. Otherwise you can change the, obviously everything here, front and rear defrost it has. Uh, down here you're gonna see, this one has tow haul mode. This is your cab light. This is uh, um, hill descent, I believe. Traction control on and off. It does have heated seats, they work. Put it on three it'll get real hot in a hurry this is just the back so it's an automatic transmission runs drive shifts well as to be expected factory manual is in here as well as uh i wonder if it has if there's something about alpine in here maybe alpine speakers it has a really good stereo system so i was kind of impressed with that usb in here Oop, now you can hear it <laughs> USB in there, uh, looks like it has an auto dimming electrochromatic mirror, overhead console. Uh, it's got all the uh, cruise control stuff over here. This you can scroll through on the MMI screen on the dash here. So, battery voltage, all the stuff. zero miles per gallon at the present moment. Um, it does have automatic headlamps. It also has fog lamps. If you push this little button in, it is of course four wheel drive, two wheel drive, four high, four low. Power windows, power locks, keyless entry. I guess there is a USB in an AUX port. It's kind of hard to see, but down here as well. Let's see if we can get a little more. You can kind of see that there, so. This little thing is like lights that go on underneath the uh, seats, I think. Not sure why, but they're there. So uh, I will get out and show you under the hood here. If I can find the latch with one hand. All right, we got it. So it's actually really clean under here. You can see under the hood's clean too. My phone does pick up like a little valve train noise and stuff more than the human ear does. So sometimes it sounds a little bit more clicky or ticky than I would in person. These direct injection motors make that uh, injection sound you're hearing right now, the constant noise. So.
Anyways, that is the 2016 Chevy Colorado Z71. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our website, 411carline.com. Give us a call, 952-540-9000. Thanks for your time today. Have a great day.